Welcome back, my dark means to the Dark Void, ruled by me, not for the one, with the K, be with the K, and and where before we begin, actually, at this point, you should have already seen the first episode and the long version already. So, 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 that. so a warning, the short version, I will leave the long version down in the description down below for, to the first episode of the series for you to check up on. So, warning, the soccer series, not the, not the, not the, any, any other scenes like this, basically has the girls showing off their bodies in spicy scenes. Censored spicy scenes, alright? And don't worry, it like I said, it's not censored. It, you don't have to come after me for that. But it does, but yeah, and it uses the environment and the clothing when there's left, if they're ripped. And also, their own bodies to cover up those body parts. So you don't need to see that, alright? See, alright? But even still, like I said, the cyber scene is about showing the girls off. And as you can see, you can see one right here. But if you're not alright with that, you can just leave right now. You don't have to stay here for the entirety of the video. You can just leave and like go do something else or watch any of my other videos. But if you're not comfortable with that, alright? I'm giving you time. After that, <clears throat> sorry, I just say, after I start uh, reading, that's it. That's on your guys and gals' heads. You cannot blame me. I gave the warning here at the beginning. Alright? Alright, good. Now, if any of you want to see what's interesting here, yeah, let me know. And also, there is another game that I won't be ever be able to play on this channel, just to let you know. If you already heard of it, it's going to be making the rounds very soon. But I won't be able to play it. <laughs> Even though I want to. By the way, let's continue on. Now, last time, we basically got a new character with basically ripped up clothes. And basically, some Sundar action. So, let's continue on what happened. Also, we let... Well, I went back in time and we basically started back here. So, let's give it to you. Oh, Akira. She lowers her conjured gun, letting it disappear into the air. Are we in... Where are we at the uh, the, the goon range right now? The, it's goon right there. I said conjured... I said gun as a, you know, like... Um, bubble, gu bubble gum. I said bubble gum. That's bubble gum. Okay. You know, a pro... Yeah, uh, uh, Either way, let's get the on. Lady disappeared into the air. I didn't know you were there. Sorry. It's fine, it's fine. You do know that you do know that you just conjured a rail goon, right? So I did. I must have done it without realizing it. I imagine imagine how angry they would have been if I ended up blowing a hole through this place. Yeah, very angry, to say the least. Hey, they'll probably go after Akira at that point. For a moment, we just look at each other. Listen, you shouldn't worry so much about me. Those idiots on the board have always been hard on me, and not necessarily for bad reasons. We both know that Masumi should have been held responsible for her actions. She moved too fast for us to be able to stop her in time. Nothing we can do about it now. Just who is she anyway? I can only shrug in response to her question. I shrugged in real life too. <laughs> oh, so the Sudar is here. And like I said, I really love her outfit. Your guess is as good as mine. Some new addition to the agency, probably some foreign country. It's not really our place to question question why she's here, right? Of course it is. She's already caused both of us a lot of trouble. She crosses her arm and stares at me. Look, the important thing is that we have to show her the ropes. Or rather, I have to. But as your assistant, I have to help you too. I am your assistant, right? Yep, that's right. I don't really want to get you into trouble too, is all. If I had not wanted to bother with trouble, I would have registered for my complaint a long time ago. A heavy sigh escapes from her lips. Honestly, Akira, after all we've been through together, you don't think I can't help you with this too? It's not that. I... I just shake my head. It's just been a long day, that's all. Why don't we go get something to eat at in the night district? Oh. Yeah... That sounds nice. Oh! She's blushing! She's blushing here! Also, I like the eyes. She's blushing here! <laughs> it's so it begins! After setting settling down at a bar, we managed to shake off that awkward atmosphere from before. Hey, don't go drinking too much beer. Uh, beer d d d beard! Beard! Drinking too much beer! That's what he, she said. It will make your stomach flabby. Don't worry about me, Kimiko. Who else is going to worry about you if I don't? 
<laughs> you don't trust in my ability to look after myself? I don't at all. Now there's a blow to my ego. As I continue talking, I can't help but notice a familiar face in the crowd. Wait, what is it? Hikibuko turns around. Masumi, what's she doing here? That's what I want to know too. I wander over to Masumi. Hikibuko walks over too. Hey you! She turns around to look at me with those bright eyes. Akia? I was wondering where you went. They told me that you usually go to this bar where you're not at HQ. And why did you want to see me? To say sorry. I got you in a lot of trouble back there. You most certainly did. Haven't you ever thought about what will happen before you do something? Come on, Kimiko, give it a rest. Musubi looks up at me. Say, uh, you're new around here, aren't you? Uh, well, yeah. I'm not from the city, so I don't know my way around very much. Well, rookie. Why don't I show you around? Like I said, it's like I said before. Unlike the the previous ones, these girls are showing a lot more skin than the previous versions. I'm sure Kimiko wouldn't mind either. And I guess you're part of our team now. So, we'll have to show you the ropes. Okay! She seems to be in higher spirits now. Why don't we take her to that noodle place? I guess we can. We wander over to where the best restaurants in the district are. This is my favorite noodle shop in town. They always do great dishes. Ugh! We quickly order our dishes and sit down. It rises steam bowls before we can even have a conversation. We super quickly tears into our meal. Hey, slow down! I don't get paid that much! Sorry, I can't help myself. I have a much bi I have such a big appetite. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to make it so, so I might actually have to give her my Trixie's voice for a bit. But we'll see. Probably a side effect of her powers. I, ma I imagine having that much strength would probably require a huge food intake. There's always one. So Masumi, you said you wanted to film around here? Yep. My hometown is a lot more boring than this place. And how did you end up here? A bunch of weird guys showed up at my house one day. And somehow they knew about me. Being different. Probably agents who scout for potential talent out of the fields. A bunch of those be breaches kept appearing in our town, but the locals dealt with it themselves. Dealt with it themselves? Yep, it was kind of hard to live a normal life, but thanks to everyone, we were able to fight them off every time. An agency never came around to clean them up for you? It was a quiet little town, so not really. I guess the agency can't be everywhere at once. Everyone there knew about the breaches, so I could just squish the thingies that came out of them every time. She closes her hands as if she was squashing something in it. I thought it was the same around here. But I guess just a, that's just plain wrong. So sorry about that. Kimiko seems to be satisfied with her answer. I, it's just a misunderstanding then. And what about when we first saw you? Oh, I just saw the breach and knew immediately what I had to do. Squash them like the nasty bugs they are. She seems rather proud of herself. Well, you did help out that day. But you have to have a bit of discretion around here. Kibuko seems to be stifling a laugh. <laughs> Look at that, Doug. What's so funny? You're one of the least discreet people I know, Akira. It's just funny to hear you talking about it. Oh, God. come on now. I'm not that lacking in discretion, am I? She just gives me a funny look. Musubi tilts her head to the side. Eh? It's nothing. Don't worry. Eat up, rookie. Okay! I'm not sure if I if I should have said that. My poor wallet will be weeping tonight. After the game was swiftly back to HQ, Kimiko and I returned home. That was a lot of fun, don't you think? Oh, what's happening? What's the deal with you? You've been acting sullen ever since she showed up. I don't like this. You don't like her? No, it's not her specifically. I just liked it better when it was just me and you. Oh! Oh, Kimiko! Kimiko! A bit jealous, are we? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> she's blushing and looking really shy. Ah, heck! I can only assume one thing about this. I'm not going to outright say it. Yeah, 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 don't say it outright! It's gonna cause a misunderstanding. I just have to keep rolling with things as they are. If the agency knew about Kimiko's feelings, then that would compromise her mission. After all, they say she's my assistant, but she's really there to keep watching me. So if they knew, they would probably reassign her immediately. 
and we probably wouldn't see each other again. So for now, I'll just play the fool. Hey, hey, good man, this guy, this guy, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. You think, oh, just say it. No, he's playing the game. He's trying to keep her here with him. Well, whether we like it or not, this is the hand we've been dealt. All we can do is do our best with what we're given. I wish I could so easily accept these things. It's like you really don't mind what happens to you at all. Hey, it's not like it doesn't bother me. I just don't waste time. I just don't waste my time dwelling on how it could have been different. It's true. Don't. It's true. Wise words. Just because if you've already done something, it's already been done. Don't dwell on that after a while. Just look, think about it a little bit and then move on after a bit. After a while, okay? You don't have to dwell on it so far. So much. That kind of thing, it just makes you depressed. I suppose so. Anyway, I better change the topic. Mississippi just seems a little bit out of place in this bit, bit city. I think it's supposed to be big city. That's all. We just have to help her adjust. I guess so. That power of hers is really something else too. It's one thing to have power. It's another to actually use it effectively. She's obscenely strong, but she has no finesse to her techniques at all. Now that you mention it, she struck at that entangly more like it was a fly rather than an enemy. From her perspective, it probably is akin to a fly, something that you swat. But I think that if it came down to a fight, finesse would be would be sheer power. Something like your power would be effective against her, I think. Well, well, I wouldn't like to think that I have to fight another agent. You know that she's annoying country bumpkin with no subtlety at all. <laughs> Look at her. Now, now, there's no need of calling somebody else a bumpkin. And her choice of clothes is obscene. I really, really, I really, really, really want to point out the hypocrisy here. Yeah! Yeah, I would say, yeah, the hypocrisy here, considering what she is wearing! Kyoko isn't aware that she's exposed 90% of the time! Mind you, I don't go out of my way to tell her. Of course, why would you tell her? I mean, it's a nice view. I'm polite like that. Also perverted. If that's how she likes to dress, then we should just let her roll with it. I guess. Kimiko doesn't look like she's going to give up on that point. Anyway, it's been a bit of a, a bit. It's been a bit of an. That's supposed a bit of an exhausting day. <laughs> My brain is trying to comprehend these words. Anyway, it's a bit of. It's been a bit exhausting today. Uh, you know what? My brain. You know what? Never mind. My brain is like going out of the way. Effort. I'm not going. We should both get some shut eye. Yes. That sounds like a good idea. Good night, Kimiko. Good night, Akira. Oh, she's not going to sleep in the same bed? That's unfortunate. <sighs> hmm? What time is it? Oh, is that me? Why am I waking up so early? Wait, I think I can hear someone in the apartment. What? Look at the clock. I realize that it's way too early for Kimiko to be up yet. What's happening? What's happening? You're being invaded! Then who could it possibly be there? Well, I hardly doubt you're here to give me a warm welcome. I get my goon. Put in my ear against the door. I do hear someone moving around. Whoever could be in there. Okay! Okay! Okay, we're gonna see what's gonna happen. You know, I'm trying. You know, I'm trying not to say anything because I already know it's gonna happen. But we're gonna see what's gonna happen. A robber, maybe? Burst through the door. I put my goon towards the kitchen's entrance. Entrance. Who's there? Stepping into the kitchen, I make sure to aim at aim at where I hear the noise coming from. Hello, Masumi. Oh God, no! Please. Well, for what? The clothing! It's still a little bit, but the, but the way, but the way she's eating! Wait! Wait, no! No! The, the eyes are so beautiful! The eyes! And the eyes! And the banana! It's so tasty! No! No! You two just gonna come after me, so why? No! Looking back at me with a banana halfway into her mouth. No! <laughs> it's none other than Misumi. Oh, hey, Akia. What's up? Please tell me what you're... Please tell me what you're doing in my apartment. Part of me is relieved, but another part is kind of worried. 
I just happened to follow you home. Sorry I wasn't quite full after that meal you shared with me. <clears throat> what? You still don't- What? So I hope you don't mind if I help myself to some of the stuff in your fridge. You, thank you, but you- Really? You're in my house! If you're- You're in my house! The banana peel's there! And it's there! Nope. Oh. it. I shook my head at her. Could you just ask? Seriously, I had my goon on me! I could've accidentally hurt you! Don't worry about me. I do have to be hurt by bullets. She makes some weird, kind of, awkward flexing pose as she leans back. Flexing doesn't really work when you have no muscle definition. Nah, don't be such a critic. Critic. She pouts a little bit. I see you're still- st uh, uh, <laughs> I see you're still dressed in your usual attire. Yep. She sticks out her chest, tiny bikini, covering her up, stretching to a breaking point! Hmm. <clears throat> Although Kimiko makes a big fuss about how you dress, I find it pretty, uh, pretty appealing. Yeah, I'm trying to talk, but I can't. I'm still focused on this. Thanks. I really like this look, too. Musubi goes back to chewing on her banana. Mmm, <sighs> bananas are the best. I just love how perfectly shaped they are for fitting into your mouth. Oh, oh lord, no! It's like someone intended it to be a perfect fit. Oh, oh no! She slides more and more of the fruit into her mouth. <laughs> Am I just imagining things or is this strangely erotic? Well, I'm glad you like them. She bites down on it lightly, just enough for the pressure to sink into it. Oh! Then she takes a proper bite, happily chewing. Okay, there goes the fantasy. Bananas. Mm-hmm. That's the best. She mumbles in between mouthfuls of banana. Oh, if you think about it weirdly, it's she's full. You really shouldn't talk with your mouth full. She pats me a little bit. I'll talk whatever I want. Okay, okay. No need to get offended. Well, I've worked out that it's not a threat. Man, he has good instincts. Heck, I have that instinct too. My my head sometimes wakes me up for like whenever something happens. Heck, it literally, and sometimes, unfortunately, it fries and it wakes me up whenever it decides something is happening. Trust me, when people are leaving the house, it's like, wake up! Something is happening. Trust me, it's a pain in the butt for me. Every little thing wakes me up. Sometimes, just for something that just falls on the floor, it's a pain. I'm going to go back to bed. Remember, Rookie, next time you visit, ask for uh, for permission first. No problem, Nakia. See you later today. Yeah, see you then. Oh, uh, sorry, I, like I said, I ate. I still the eggs in the kitchen. Leave me here to finish your snack. Yeah, she's finishing. Sunny tells me that it will be a good idea not to mention this to Kimiko. Oh, no, she'll probably have a field day with this. Kigo seems to bit, uh, be a bit better than yesterday. So, Akira, I've got a new batch of orders for us from HQ. What is it that they want this time? Apparently, there's been a lot of breaches occurring along the coastlines. Who would have, who would have thought space, squid, space squids like the sea? Ah, I wish you would have called them space squids. My brain is trying its best to, like, my brain is hardwired to try to repair things in writing. It is their hard way, unfortunately. They're entanglers. But that's what they are! Glorified squares from space! I agree. Well, you will just have to deal with it. A couple of agents are going to be assigned for a lookout duty. Since activity around the coast has been spiking lately, they suspect that something big is about to go down. Hmm. We still don't know where these breaches even come from. But it's obvious that there's some sort of, inter of intelligent force behind it. Is it, a is it a another one? Hmm? After all, that angular invasion we dealt with the other day definitely showed that they were being controlled by something. So we're going to be stationed at the coast for a while. Yep, that's the gist of it. Wait, the coastline? People be ready, because we're about to see some nice things. Sounds like it could be a lot of fun. I've been down to the beach in ages. Come on, Akira. You know full well that you can't slack off. So don't think of it as fun. But her tone doesn't, mu doesn't match what she's saying at all. I can just tell that you're looking forward to it too. 
It would be unprofessional of me to do anything like that. I'm guessing the rookie will be coming with us too? Well, yes. She's assigned to you, so wherever you go, she's going to be following. I can't help but notice a little bit of disappointment in her voice. All right then. So how long will, be, uh, will we be out there? A few days, perhaps. We're just mobilizing to deal with whatever's going to happen. As we continue talking, I see someone walk out of one of the office rooms. Hey, Akira! Kimiko! We say waves to both of us. Before we know she's uh, know it, she's coming bounding over. Thanks for the banana this morning, Akira! Thank you! Excuse me! But still, excuse me! Banana? What is she talking about, Akira? Oh, boy! I didn't want to mention this to her! He gave me this big delicious banana. No, Kiwi! Sumi, please! You're gonna make her things differently! It was so big that I could barely fit it into my mouth. Oh, no! <laughs> no! No! But the flavor was unforgettable. No! Please! Just nine minutes left! Kiwi's face has lost a bit of color. Oh, my goodness! I know this was doing wording and what happened so inappropriate! Dang, this is going to require some very careful word choices! I is this true, Akira? Yeah, she was just hungry. Somehow she got into our apartment and was raiding our fridge for snacks! I didn't want to wake you up, so I just went back to bed. Oh. So really, just give her a banana. Yes, what did you think I did? Oh, her face just flushes a bit. <laughs> Look at that! She's freaking started here! Uh, well, enough about that. Listen, me, we're going to be staying at around the coast for a few days. Until this big incursion goes down. Hmm? I was getting some bad vibes from the coast. Bad vibes? What do you mean? It's hard to say how it works. But I just get this funny feeling. Like how it's like I know something bad is going to happen. All the people in my hometown have... <coughs> Hometown has something similar. Sorry, after just screaming a little bit, my throat is starting to lose its volume. And everybody started getting a feeling like that, and a collision was not far away. That's a pretty useful skill to have. I don't like that feeling. It gets worse when those nasty creatures begin plopping out of the breaches. So that's why I like to squash them as soon as I can. Interesting. Kimiko seems fascinated by the idea. What sort of what sort of sensation do you feel? It's it's cold. It's not a nice sensation. She shivers a little bit. Well, if it's a cold sensation, maybe you should wear more clothes. No, I like this outfit. Both of them are way too stubborn. Oh, boy. Especially since both of them are wearing very, very... She wears least. She reveals more. I don't know. Anyway, you're going to be with us for sentry duty. That's not a problem, right? Not at all. <coughs> We soon seems to get a bit pumped up. I would do my best. That's the spirit. Oh, I just remembered I have to get all the paperwork down, done for the transfer. Don't worry, Akira. I'll be back soon. All right. Oh boy, this is gonna, this is gonna, this is gonna be interesting. Hey, I might take the rook. I might take the rookie out with B for patrol. For patrol. Ah, oh, <laughs> my voice. Show the ropes. Oh. What's this? Well, I won't be able to leave HQ for a while. So, do what you want, I guess. Kimiko walks out without saying goodbye. Oh, jealousy! She seems sour about something. Don't worry about it. Anyway, I'd like to show you around the town. Are you up for it? Sure! Oh, she's starting to have feelings too? Masumi follows, me, uh, behind, follows behind me cautiously. She seems to be having a lot of trouble with navigating through the massive crowds around here. Hey, uh, you all right? I'm fine. I can look at them myself. I know you're strong, but you can't squash people the same way as you can squash an entangler. You gotta learn to move with the flow rather than resisting it. True that! Move with the flow! Just let it go! Man, man! Just let it flow! I guide her through the crowd, slipping in and out with ease. Uh, how are you doing that? Is that your power? Nah, I don't have any powers. You don't? 
The agency doesn't just hire people like you. Some of those regular guys are apparently worth having around too. And plus, it's not really that hard to get through people. You just need to know how to maneuver your way through a bit. Just go with the flow. Why did they pick you then? You really do like asking the hard questions, don't you? It's just sorry. Doesn't look like she meant any harm by the question. She just lacks a little tact, I guess. For some reason, I have a tendency to survive things that other people normally wouldn't. Whether that's dumb luck or skill or some kind of weird ability, you can decide for yourself. See, you must be really smart then. Nah, I'm not that smart. I'm just good with a goon and I know how to dodge things. That's all. Oh. She goes pretty quiet after that. Thank you for showing me around, by the way. Don't think any of it. You're going to have to learn these streets like the back of your hand if you want to survive out here. It's hard work, but it pays alright and it's rewarding. Yep, I'll keep everyone safe from the incursions. Just like, just like an action hero from the 80s movie. movie. I thought I was the only one who likes cheesy 80s action flicks. Oh boy, it's gonna be a- here we go! Oh, oh, what about the Neon Rider series? I, I love that series! Oh, Neon Rider 3? The last one was a letdown though. Tell me about it. Despite all of the special effects and top grade actors, it just lost that low budget charm it had. Oh man, sequels. Yeah, sequels. The people have to be careful with sequels. If they don't have that same thing, if they don't, I just don't know why people don't just go back to the first movies to see how to make the next ones better, how to get that spark. But no, they just want to start something new. That's exactly how I felt about two. I guess cinema has changed for the worst. Oh, <laughs> you have no idea. I'd say it's just different. Or simply just shrugs. Oh, sorry, I was so distracted that I forgot the time. She's starting to open up to me now. And I can't help but open up to her a bit, too. This, can we go like those movies, too? I tried to get her to watch one once. She said it, it was stupid. Oh, she really is a serious person. I wish I knew how to become friends with her. Just, that's just how she is. It takes her a long time to warm up to someone. Well, hell, heck, uh, we've been together for years and she still scolds me a fair bit. I guess so. Uh, oh, dang! Oh, sorry, Rowan! But I can't help but feel like I'm an outsider. I mean, we're just working together, but... That doesn't mean that I don't want to be friends with the people I work with. Hey, hey, you worry too much. You will find your place in our little team, too. When I was, hey, hey! <laughs> or, hey, hey! Yeah, I have a lot... I have watched a lot of new series of anime so far, and I'm getting new voices for myself. So don't worry about it, okay? Just do you and everything else will work out. She nonsters herself thoughtfully. Okay, Akira. 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 There we go. Akira. There we go. I was talking in Kimiko's voice. You look kind of scary when I first met you. But you aren't a bad person. HQ thinks I'm bad. Oh, why? I've got into some bad habits. I used to show up to work late constantly and kept getting distracted on assignments. The only reason why I haven't been kicked out yet is because I have really high success rates uh, with missions. Oh, why did you show up to work on time? I needed my beauty sleep. That's it. That's not good, Akira. You need to be up nice and early. Oh, now she's scolding me too! Oh boy, with her and Kimiko around, I'm always going to be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, you are, brother. Yeah, you are. That was a long time ago, though. Kimiko wakes me up on time. The two of you live in the same place? Yeah, we go half and half on the rent. It's pretty convenient. I see. Why well, she's blushing by- Oh, it's because she didn't know that you two were in the same place! As we keep talking, a car seems to pull up beside us. Uh, the driver's seat steps none other than my assistant, Kimiko. There you two are. Come on, it's time to go. Kimiko ushers us into the back seat. But Masubi doesn't go. Is something wrong? I don't like cars. Just get in already. Kimiko begins pushing Masubi towards the open car door. I don't want to! Once we stand still, refuses to move! Of course! Of course! Ugh. You see a goo is starting to form in Kimiko's hand. 
I better do something before this escalates. Hey, Masumi! I think there's a spider on your shoulder! <laughs> Which shoulder? Masumi starts paying attention to Kyuga and starts moving her head and to check her shoulders. The momentary distraction is enough to knock her off balance. And for Kimiko to lose her balance too. What? What? Wait! Wait! Decision! Hold up! Wait! A decision! A decision! Wait! Wait! What? What is this? What? This is not a- Okay, do you know what? I'll, it is, when it says catch her and let them fall. Wait, what are you talking- Wait, is this- uh, Is this how- Wait, is this even important? <clears throat> okay. Dude, I gotta save here. Okay, so which means I'm gonna save here then. This is where we're gonna end the episode here. I didn't expect that. Okay. Now, I'm happy that I didn't play- See, didn't play- That I, that YouTuber did not play this game. Then I would know the details here. But now- But this is actually Jane. This is actually me when I'm fully- don't know what is happening. If I do know, and I forget a little bit, I still have a feeling. But now, yeah, I'm fully into this. Without me being half C here. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to let these videos be here. So, next time, we're going to choose one of these options. I will save here for myself. You guys can go. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll save here in case we need to go back here again. By the way, hope you enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, and subscribe. To join my dog army and to let me know what you like about this episode. Plus, it really helps me out. Like I said, press the like button. Really helps me out too. And press the black bell button to be notified whenever I post a video. Or just come to my channel every once or twice a week. Sorry. Food is still in my belly. To see if I'm updated or not. Also, share the video. Because obviously I cannot share this on any other platform. Heck, Twitter was the only I mean, was the place to boot it up. But they are... Don't want to do it anymore. And YouTube chat is still hunting me down. I'm still in the gray area. So right now I'm still safe. But what else? So please share my videos. <laughs> uh, so, but for right now, my dark means dismissed.